Hey, Amy, what you got there? A pumpkin. Cool. Is that because Halloween's coming up? Well, that, and I'm going to make some pie. Ooh, pumpkin pie. Sounds good. Yep. Although I might need a few more pumpkins. Why is that? Because we've got company. Oh, yeah, the new Series 14 minifigures. Yep. But is, isn't there something special about these? Yep. They're monsters. Cool. Let's get started. All right. Up first, we have the Tiger Girl. So, the main way to feel her is by feeling her hair. The key part of her hair is that with the sides and the back, it flips up like a U shape. Of course, you can also feel the ears, but they're not as prominent as you might think. Now there's the whip, but it's really skinny and kind of hard to find. And of course, she also has her tail, which can remind you of the li of the lizard suit guy back a, a lot of series ago. But it definitely is a lot smoother and not as prominent. And there she is. Here's her tail. Let's see. Of course she. All right. <laughs> Forgot her tail. Oh, and I just talked about the tail, so it's kind of silly. So here's her hair. You can see how it flips up. You can. That's definitely easy to feel. Her hair flipping up is very easy to feel. And here's her whip. So yeah, she's pretty cool. Okay, here's a close-up of the Tiger Girl again so you can get a good look. Now, as I turn her, again, notice her hair. See how the hair on all three sides flips up a little bit? You can definitely feel that. And again, you can see the ears. You can feel those a little bit. Um, like Amy said, they're just not quite as prominent as you would think when you're feeling it. There's the tail. You can feel that part. And the whip. The whip is sometimes a little hard to feel, to find. But once you do find it, just feel around so you can feel the whole thing, and that confirms that this is the Tiger Girl. All right, here we have the witch. So, the main thing about the witch to feel for is her hat and hair. The hat itself feels almost identical to the original witch hat, which we can bring in with the close-up, which I can show you later. Um, not in the close-up. Anyway, what the opening, because there's one right off stage. Anywho, it feels, oh, it feels very similar to the original hat, and then you can feel the hair draping down, but it's not as long as you would think it is. You can confirm this is the witch by finding the broom, which is a long skinny rod that poofs at the end. All right, let's open it. All right, and as always with these, with mini figures having skirt, with having um, skirts or um, capes or that whatever, you can't feel them in the bag. And Here's her hat with her hair. As you can see, it's not that long. Then here is the original witch hat, which you can compare. As you can see, this one flips up, and this one is flat, and this one just goes to the back, and this one goes to the side. This one is definitely more complex. Here's her broom, and I like the cat. Kitty goes meow meow. And you can feel the cat. 
It's also the only one with the cat. Okay, here's a close-up of the witch to get you a good look. Again, as we turn it, you can see that her hair is attached to the hat. So when you feel the hat, you also feel the hair. And it might throw you at first until you remember that the hair is attached to the hat. And the hat, the hair just sticks out in the back. And of course you can feel the cat. It's kind of a squarish piece with the tail and the head. Uh, and you can definitely feel the curvy tail uh, through the bag and the hat. And again, there's the broom. Long, thin rod with the, uh, with the straw on the end. There she is. Okay, this bag contains the plant monster. Now, the thing about the plant monster is the, uh, the big plant part that goes over his head is fairly pr uh, prominent, and it's one of the thicker packs. Um, so if you're looking for this one, you can actually grab a bunch of packs and just feel how thick they are. And if they're not very thick, which most of them are not, it's not the plant monster. Once you narrow it down, you can find, um, you can find that piece. And again, um, right on the front cover here, we got, you can see this piece and it, it's kind of curved um, on a, both sides. And yes. you can definitely feel that. I can feel it right here. Um, the other thing with the plant monster is, again, you'll note by feeling that headpiece, but you can also feel uh, his vines, and I can feel one, you know, right down here. So let's open him up and check him out. The head, it dips in like a U shaped with little flourishes at the end. Okay, so here's this guy. And he's got a scary, scary looking face. He is. He is afraid. He just got. It. And that snaps right over like that. But there he is. Actually, can... is that actually is different from what I was, from what I thought it was. It, I will admit it. From the picture, it seems more um wider, and not as does. It seems wider and not as long. Right, I'm having trouble getting him to hold his vines. Well, trust me, you'll, you'll like it eventually. Trust me, being plants are cool. Plants are cool. All right, we'll get him on. Okay, here's a close-up of the plant monster. Um, Amy got him to hold his vines. Kind of looks like a mustache. Yeah. Here's a good side shot of that headpiece. Which again, especially this part, the opening here, uh, is yes. it's fairly mm -hmm. predominant yes, uh, to I feel, as well as this back shaped. part. Okay, that's what he looks like from the back. And there you can see the vines. And you can feel those vines through the pack as well. All right, there he is. Okay, this pack contains the monster scientist. Now, he's also on the cover, and you can see this big head. It's actually two pieces. Uh, the bottom part is the regular minifigure head, and then the top part snaps on, um, and that's, of course, the top of his head, but the glasses and his hair are attached to this top piece. So you can, you can feel that, um, and it basically feels like a cylinder with parts sticking out, or with something sticking out, and you can definitely, you know, you can definitely feel that. The other thing, um, and if you feel this first, um, is the beaker. And the beaker, he's the only one that has a beaker. So if you feel that uh, beaker, um, you'll also know that it's him. And the beaker is, it's easy to identify. Just, you know, the round top and the triangular bottom portion. Um, again, once you feel that, you'll know it's him. All right, let's open this up. All right. Okay, so here's the bottom part of his head. Okay, and now here's the top part. Add it with his glasses and his hair. Add that on, and there he is. Let's give him his beaker. Meep. And get him ready for his close-up. Hmm, never seen a pink one before. OK, 
Okay, here's a close-up of the monster scientist. Again, there you see his beaker. Kind of cool how they made um, half of his arms black along with his hands. Okay, and again, there you see the hair sticking out, which again is attached to that top piece. And again, it's fairly easy to identify that piece when you're feeling it. And there's the beaker. All right.